private parking. That sounds like a Tesla club. And the Tesla club is a popular club, as you can see. So here we are, 17% at the Tesla supercharger in Rijswijk. But hey, is that a take on? So, I don't even know where we are. I think there's a hotel somewhere. Ooh, and now I realize that actually many stalls here are broken in the app. Um, let's show you the Tesla app. Charge your non-Tesla. Seven stalls free. Eight stalls available, three A, B, C and D out of order, oopsie. So this stall is out of order and obviously <laughs> this 4A plug is never gonna reach into the port on my wrong side which is the right side. Mm, so maybe I can park it in such a way that I just block this broken stall and that I can plug in, but I don't know. The Taycan seems to be Belgian and is charging, wow. Welcome to the Tesla supercharger in Rijswijk, near Rotterdam and The Hague, where I just wanted to show you a tiny problem if you bring your BMW to such a place, because you think like, oh, this place in the corner, that's nice. Yeah, well, it would be, but 3D is broken and 4A is impossible to reach because the charging port is on the right side which is the wrong side this is a beautiful, beautiful side by the way and people also put the plugs back right where they need to be anyway, so it looks like I'm nicely parked in between uh, Model 3 and Model X but what it means is that the only available plug here uh, also can't reach my vehicle the same would happen over there it would happen over here it would happen over here again so and then these stalls are broken Tesla has broken stalls if everybody if anybody ever told you that Tesla stalls o always work these three and the one furthest in the back are all broken so I can't select them in the app uh, nobody can charge there and the way that everybody is parked here means that even though any Tesla can drive in here and still charge I can't and yeah on the one hand that is what it means to drive a Tesla and I don't drive Tesla um, but this public usage as you can see it has some quirks and this site is also busier than I expected it to be plus they are already maxed out uh, what it looks like uh, I don't see how this place that really needs these parking spots over here uh, would sell out to Tesla and uh, rent more space so this Rijswijk supercharger even though I thought it was perfect because it's close to where I need to go to bring the BMW back um, is not that perfect if people line up like they did here then there's no place for me to charge Rijswijk supercharger all these slots look available you know it looks like a site where anybody can come in and charge and if you drive a Tesla it's true but if you drive a BMW not so much what is up with that taken and this charging port, port still being open? They never charged, they just plugged it in for show. But what is going on? Why is it not closing? So I thought about parking the car really close to this Tesla over there and then plugging in that 4A into the vehicle but yeah if you look at all these things here they're really blocking the possibility to park neatly ag against sideways against this broken 3D charger so it's a bit of a problematic setup and 
I really wanted to test here and now I don't know yeah I don't have much time left so uh, I don't know what is the best option here but um, yeah as you can see it's interesting because this is a v3 site so it's a fast one with 250 kilowatt chargers but they did line them up in this classic what I like to call the American way so they put them flat uh, against the wall I guess it was maybe a space issue as well and as you can see these stalls uh, are easier for uh, non Teslas because yeah the the cable has much more reach across the side but it wouldn't have really mattered because as long as the lineup is as it is here and nobody's moving not even everybody's in their car mm, ah, it seems that somebody's leaving so maybe but oh no so this is another one that's in the middle and all these you know if there's only one one free spot it's not enough and all these are broken yes the model x is leaving which finally leaves one of these stalls available but the tesla is coming in can he charge because i can select that charger let's see this plug doesn't look that great but as long as it works i'm fine so i plugged it in as the app request it's 2d so let's swipe to 2d start charging connecting I guess it didn't work for the neighbor sounds like this is working though Let's check in the car it says fully charged at 1207 so that's a good hour from now and we're getting 187 kilowatts preheating worked i just had to tell the tesla driver that his stall was broken because apparently the car doesn't inform him meanwhile the bmw is taking 188 kilowatts at this v3 charger in Rijswijk, and everybody is moving to these broken chargers they have to go to the other side because this is the good side 189 kilowatts Tesla superpower and yes I am so as you can see I'm using the wrong plug because there was intended to a Tesla to park over here and all the other ones are broken so one working plug 2c is now blocked by the bmw because the charging port is on the wrong side which is the right side i don't know anymore 192 kilowatts at the supercharger this bmw doesn't mind taking it from tesla so when visiting the supercharger you can go to the Savarin hotel and spa over here where you can have a decent lunch or whatever you like and they also speak all languages they have a garden you can use the trampoline it's uh, you can play chess so it's a good place to be this exclusive Tesla supercharger but not exclusive for Tesla even though it says so BMW can also come here ah we have the drop to 180 kilowatts 
it doesn't show me charging percentage maybe the car will Twenty six, twenty seven percent. And if you think that this hotel and spa cleans up the Tesla site once in a while, it might be true. But the once in a while was not last Sunday night. It's Monday morning in April, a beautiful Monday morning with plugs lying on the floor. So we're still getting one hundred eighty one kilowatts. I think that's good enough for now because this car needs to go back to BMW. Thanks for trying and uh, I'm happy to report that the V3 supercharger and BMW are good friends. It's interesting that even though it doesn't look like it's perfectly well connected, it is charging at high speed. 182 kilowatts, let's stop the session. To avoid idle fees, leave now, yes! So, I don't know. Pretty scary thought that it's just a bit of loose plastic here. And that it just powered this vehicle with 192 kilowatts. The specs. Tesla's come and go, as always, at Supercharger. Very interesting that this Model S seems to be charging just fine over there, and the Model 3 wasn't. So maybe it is Model S versus 3 specific. Very strange. Leaving the Supercharger with 31% or 168 kilometers of range. See ya.